in this question from the chapter similar triangle as you can see a figure is given and these two angles are given equal as i can see that angle the angle given is number one this angle that is b e d is equal to b d e right and further we are given e is the midpoint of side b c so e is the midpoint well this is e right and this is the midpoint of b c that implies we know b e is equal to e c now what we need to prove here, over here is some ratio that is AF over CF is equal to AD over BE. So this is AF, right? And then CF is this. This is AD and then BE. Now to prove this, we are going to use the concept of BPT. And for applying this property BPT, we know that we need to draw a line parallel. So the line we'll be drawing parallel is this, right? From C, we are going to draw a line which is parallel to df and that's a part of construction you should write down this in the exam so over here we have these two lines that is say if i write this point as m so dm mc is parallel to df now we are going to apply bpt in this triangle the triangle mentioned is this so we'll be writing this that is in triangle this is a d f as we know that cm is parallel to df so by bpt what we can say that this is ac over cf is equal to am over dm now check uh, why did we applied uh, this thing uh, because i saw here af right and cf also now once we have done this we can see that we need we need to add one in order to get the ratio that is what they have required for. So adding one to both sides. Check if I take LCM. On taking LCM, it is going to be CF only. And this time it is AC plus CF. And the other side, if I take LCM as DM, this is AM plus DM. So when you add in the figure, what is AC plus CF is going to be AF as the part of the numerator. So I'll be writing over here as AF that divided by CF that was needed and what is AD? AD uh, AM plus DM is what AD so this is AD over DM now you need to check here that we need AF over CF that's what we got we need AD we had AD but then we need BE but we got DM so this is what we need to make changes over here and that we are going to do again by applying BPT and the other thing that we are going to apply is isosceles triangle property. Now we can apply BPT in another triangle and this time I'm going to apply BPT in this triangle. Check over here. In this triangle also we know that uh, DE can be written as parallel to this. So, so let's see if I write over here. So the triangle here is, this time I'm taking the triangle B, C, M, and the, the line drawn in parallel is D, E is drawn, is parallel to C, M. So applying BPT, what we can say that uh, it is uh, D, M, uh, yeah, B, E. So B, E over E, C, right? B, E over E, C is equal to B, D over D, M. B, D over D, M. Now, we know that these are equal, right? BE is equal to EC, so we can cut it. So it's going to be one by one, right? The ratio will be one by one. And by cross multiplication, from here by cross multiplication, we'll get BD is equal to, sorry, this is BD. By cross multiplication, BD is equal to DM. Now, we need to replace DM with BE, right? Further, it was given that, not given, but we can prove it. Look into this triangle. Look into this triangle. Here in this triangle, we have two sides as equal, right? Uh, that sides equal, as you can see. Let me once again show you properly. The triangles we are considering is this. So here we know two angles equal. And what are the angles given uh, equal are these two. So their opposite side, opposite sides will be equal. So from here, we can say that. What are the sides which we can say equal are number one? BD is equal to, right? BD is equal to BE. Now check from here. From these two, 
what you can see we can replace dm with be so from these two equation we'll say that be is equal to dm so that is what needed and we got this so if i mark this equation say equation one and equation two so from one and two from equation one and two check from one what i'm writing from one i'm writing af over cf is equal to i'm keeping ad as it is and i'm replacing dm dm can be written as be be and when i see that this is what we needed to prove that is af upon cf is equal to ad over be so that's how we will prove this question